There was a lot of hype around this paper from Microsoft Research, which talked about the era of one bit LLMs. All language models are in 1.58 bits. I had made this video previously last year. Now this model has been released on Hugging Face. So this is the BitNet B 1.58 2B 4T. The first open source native one bit large language model at the 2 billion parameter scale developed by Microsoft Research. It has been trained on 4 trillion tokens. This model demonstrates that native one bit LLMs can achieve performance comparable to leading open weight full precision model of similar size while offering substantial advantages in computational efficiency like memory, energy, latency. So we can try out this model on a collab notebook. Um, so before going there, what I would like to say over here is that, uh, you know, what is so special about this model? This has native 1.58 bit weights and 8 bit activations. So weights are quantized to ternary values using apps mean quantization during the forward pass. So every weight is one of these values. It is either minus one, zero or plus one. Okay, no floating point weights at all. Activations are quantized to 8-bit integers using AppSmack quantization per token. And the thing is that this model is trained from scratch with this quantization scheme, not post-training quantized. Generally, models are post-training quantized to from say 16-bit, um, you know, from 32-bit to 16-bit to 8-bit to 4-bit, so on. Okay, but this is a natively you know, 1.58 bits weights and 8 bit activations. Basically, this model was trained from scratch with this quantization scheme. For more details, I suggest that you look at my this uh, video where I explain about what is this one bit LLM, the concept of one bit LLM. Okay, so now we can try this in um, collab notebook. What they say is the ideal way of inferencing this is with the bitnet CPP. Okay, Microsoft has this BitNet CPP library. Um, so this is the ideal way to make use of inference for this particular one bit LLM. Okay, because if you were to run it using hugging face transformers, the current execution paths within transformers do not contain specially highly optimized computational kernels required to leverage the advantages of BitNet architecture. So it might result in inference speeds and energy use comparable to or potentially worse than standard full precision models with this framework on both CPU and GPU. Okay, even though I'm running it on a collab notebook, you will not see the kind of uh, efficiency gains in terms of speed, latency or energy consumption over here. Okay. So for this to run on transformers, you need to install this particular branch of transformers. Okay, it's not yet integrated to the main transformers library. So that's what I did over here. I am running it on a T4 GPU. It consumes up to 5.4 GB of uh, GPU RAM. So first I need to install it. Once I installed it, I can just load the model like this. Right, uh, model ID is this Microsoft BitNet and I'm uh, from AutoModel for Causal LM. I can load this particular model. It takes around 5 GB of GPU RAM. Okay, then I can create messages like this. Uh, the system is you are a helpful AI assistant. User is explain LLM like I am phi. Okay, so I apply this chat template on our uh, chat input, on our messages, get the chat input, give it to the model to generate tokens, uh, generate the output. So it says, okay, sure. Imagine you have a very smart friend who reads a lot of books and answers question. This smart friend is called a large language, a large, language learning machine or LLM for short, it goes, okay, it should have been large language models. It makes it as a language learning machine over here. It can understand and talk in many different languages, just like how you can speak English. LLMs can help you to learn new words, understand stories, and even write your own stories. It's like having a super smart tutor. The response is kind of good. I tried the same question over here, explain LLM like I'm five on the BitNet demo. Uh, so here it says, imagine you have a big box of Lego blocks. Each block can be either red or blue and you can connect them together. Large, the box has a, you know, now think of an LLM like a set of box of Lego blocks. 
large the box has a lot of lego blocks just like llm has a lot of information language model this means it can understand and talk in different languages just like you understand and talk in english 2 billion parameters it goes into a little bit specific and then says when you ask llm something it looks at all its lego blocks information and then uses them to create a good answer okay so this was the response over here i tried another one where i said i gave a math problem okay if a rectangle has a perimeter of 20 cm and one side is 4 cm what is the area of the rectangle so it did this calculation given that one side is 4 cm and let's assume that its width uh, it's the width we can set up the equation as perimeter is equal to 2 20 is equal to 2 into 4 plus 2 l using this we can get this length is equal to 6 cm therefore the area is 24 cm square which is correct same question i tried over here and it gave me a wrong answer okay so it is able to do some math problems as well then i said you are a helpful ai python coding assistant i need code to load up pandas data frame and perform svm classification on the data there is a target column and rest are all feature columns so it gives me the standard panda uh, code uh, sklearn based code over here uh, right uh, loading the data frame then doing the test train split you know dropping the target column making y as the target column doing the split then initializing an svm kernel svm classifier basically doing the train fit predict up to here it's fine then it loads the model file again here it is making a mistake of assuming that my data frame has only three features over here but otherwise the code seems to be okay uh then i tried some medical entity extraction where i gave some medical data and said extract medical entities and create a json file it was not able to generate the output okay So this is just like any other one billion parameter model. So you can expect performance in similar levels. So here are some comparisons of Bitnet with the other open weight full precision LLMs like Llama, Quen, small uh, LM2 mini CPM. And if you look at uh, you know the memory requirement of this is very less. This is for the optimized inference when you are running when Bitnet CPP, not on hugging face transformers. latency is just 29 milliseconds which is much more lesser than any of this for cpu decoding the energy usage is also less comparatively and this has been uh, pre trained on 4 trillion tokens and if you look at the performance across various benchmarks in some of the benchmarks like arch challenge and piqa in vinograde this kind of beats the other full weight precision models okay other full precision open weight models it kind of beats and it is comparable in performance on the other benchmarks as well it kind of matches or it is slightly lesser than these models over here or slightly better also in some cases so it's good to see that you know uh, this model has been released for research purposes it has an mit license what would be interesting is bigger models being created like say 30 billion parameters or 70 billion parameters okay using the same concept if bigger models are created and if they perform well in their class of models okay in their class of weights basically in their sizes if it performs well uh, in the future uh, uh, this could lead to better uh, or say efficient inference okay and uh, specialized hardware can come up in the future that was the expectation when they released this particular paper um so i don't know how it's going to pan out for the moment this is just for research purposes you can try out this particular model and if you are running it with bitnet.cpp you also get the benefits of you know faster in and efficient inference hope this video is useful see you in another video